رمضان مبارک رمضان کریم رمضان مبارک رمضان کریم رمضان مبارک رمضان کریم رمضان مبارک رمضان کریم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقم الصلاة لدلوك الشمس إلى غسق الليل وقرآن الفجر إن قرآن الفجر كان مشهودا ومن الليل فتهجد به نافلة لك عسى أن يبعثك ربك مقاما محمودا Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this lesson, we will be learning about the significance of voluntary worship and its effects on our soul. The translation of the verse of the Holy Quran that was just presented before you is as follows Observe prayer at the declining and paling of the sun onto the darkness of the night, and the recitation of the Quran in prayer at dawn. Verily, the recitation of the Qur'an at dawn is specially acceptable to God and wake up for it in the latter part of the night as a supergatory service for thee. It may be that thy Lord will raise thee to an exalted station. In this verse of the Holy Qur'an, the timings for the obligatory prayers have been mentioned, i.e. the five daily prayers, as well as the voluntary prayer, which is known as tahajjud. Now, the term Dalakate Shams in actuality contains within it three meanings. First of all, the first meaning it has is when the sun declines from its meridian, i.e. from its zenith, and then when the sun becomes yellow, and then finally when the sun has set. And this in actuality explains the timings for Zuhr, Asr, and Maghrib prayer. Similarly, the term Ghasaq al-Layl means when the redness in the sky disappears and it has become fully dark and is considered to be night time. This is the time for when Isha prayer is observed. Similarly, Quran al-Fajr, i.e. the recitation of the Quran at dawn, this alludes to the Fajr prayer or the early morning prayer. Now, the term tahajjata means to wake up at night, make special efforts to wake up earlier than the morning prayer at a time when the dawn has not broken yet to specially observe voluntary prayer regarding which the Holy Quran states that you wake up for it in the latter part of the night as a form of voluntary service. Now, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam explaining this states that Allah the Exalted states that through voluntary worship a friend of mine attains such nearness to me that I become the ears with which he hears and I become the eyes with which he sees and I become the hands with which he grasps and I become the feet with which he walks. When he asks of me, I grant him his wish, and when he seeks my refuge, I grant him refuge. The promised Messiah والسلام, states that all the virtuous deeds performed by a person may be divided into two categories, obligatory and voluntary. Obligatory deeds refer to that which is compulsory on man, such as the repayment of a debt 
or goodness in kind, in addition to these obligations, every good deed is accompanied by an aspect of voluntary service, that is to say, virtue which is above and beyond the call of duty. An example of this would be for one to reciprocate greater benevolence than that shown to him by another. This serves to complete and perfect compulsory actions. This hadith expounds that the saints of Allah perfect their religious obligations through the observance of voluntary acts of worship. For example, in addition to zakat, they also give charity. Allah the Exalted becomes the friend of such people and states that this relation grows to such intimacy that he becomes the hands, feet, etc. of such a person. In fact, he even becomes the tongue with which such a person speaks. Now, regarding the condition of voluntary worship of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha was once asked to describe this and the way in which the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would pray the tahajjud prayer the prayer before the early morning prayer which is a voluntary prayer and she narrates that during and apart from the month the holy month of Ramadan the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would not offer more than 11 units or 11 rak'at during tahajjud, that is the 8 rak'at and the 3 vitr. However, they would also be so long and beautiful that she says that there is merely no words to describe them and it's indescribable. Similarly, Hazrat Deen Muhammad Sahib of Langarwal, he narrates regarding the Promised Messiah wasalam, that he witnessed the character of the Promised Messiah wasalam, since his childhood. And he first witnessed him when Ghulam Murtaza Sahib was still alive. And he, he states that His Holiness would go to sleep after Aisha and then would wake up at one in the morning to offer the Tahajjud prayer, after which he would recite the Holy Quran. And then when the Azan or the call for prayer for Fajr for the early morning prayer would be called, he would offer his Sunnah and then offer the congregational prayer at the mosque quite in line with the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet The Promised Messiah states, Our community should make the tahajjud compulsory in their lives, even if it is by offering two units, i.e. rakaz, as it will, nonetheless, grant the opportunity to pray. The prayers made at this time are specially effective because they are a result of sincere pain and passion just getting up at that time creates emotion in the heart which creates a sense of anxiety and fervor in the prayer similarly our beloved huzur the worldwide head of the ahmadiyya muslim community and the fifth caliph of the promised messiah salatu wasalam hazrat mirza masrur ahmad ayyadullah ta'ala bin isr al-aziz he states if there is any lacking in the obligatory worship of a person then allah will say that my servant has also offered voluntary worship. The lack in obligatory worship will be made up for through voluntary worship. Similar will be the case in relation to the judgment of all other actions. Therefore, when Allah states worship and sacrifices should also be made in secrecy, this is in actuality voluntary worship. Sometimes due to some commitments, prayers are not offered on time or they are not offered wholeheartedly. That is why it is said that you should offer voluntary prayers as it will compensate for this. Now, that's all we have time for today. Please do make sure to subscribe, like and share this video. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Oh uh...